The anchor pop is a critical component of providing bracing for some decks, but don't get it wrong when using anchor poles for your deck. This video is one of many on the Robo Deck Designer YouTube channel. While I'm Paul and this YouTube channel here is all about helping you. Helping you navigate the difficult New Zealand building code regulations. I will let you know about little known clauses and design considerations that can prevent you from making mistakes and getting it right first time. But the greatest gift I can give you is the Robo Deck Designer online tool. This online tool will help you design your deck to New Zealand building code regulations within minutes. So before getting to this video, it'd be a good idea just to just look at just where your bracing is required for a deck. So if your deck extends more than two meters away from your house, you need bracing. Now this could be either brace poles or anchor poles, but this video is all about anchor poles. I'll do another video on brace poles later on this year. So with the two different types of poles here, um, anchor poles are really suited to lower decks. So on the Robo Deck Designer website with the online tool, all the decks designed between 400 and 700 millimeters high used anchor poles and those greater than this height used brace poles. So for working out the location of anchor poles, I've done a separate video on bracing the easy way using NZS 3604. So there's a link below in the description and this will just give you a lot of information about just where these anchor poles are actually located. With the anchor poles, there's um, three different clauses that need to be observed. So this is under NTDS 3604 under section 6.9. Under NTDS 3604 under section 6.9.1, there's that particular clause there actually refers to a different clause which refers to the height of an anchor pole. The maximum height of an anchor pole is under clause 6.4.1.1. B and then triple I after that. The minimum height of an anchor pole is determined by clause 6.4.1.C. Now this is 300 millimeters, but if you're using a damp proof course, this can be reduced down to 150 millimeters. The depth of a pole is actually determined under clause 6.9.2. Now this should be at a minimum of 900 millimeters below the clear ground level. Now with the fixing of the anchor pole to the bearer there's a clause there 6.9.3 which outlines this and also two diagrams figure 6.9 and 6.10. Now these actually are quite helpful actually showing just how you can actually attach the bearer to the anchor pole and yeah it's, it's very clear anyway. I hope this video has been of help for you and don't forget to subscribe to the Robo Deck Designer YouTube channel and thanks so much for watching this video. Thank you.